now. Yeah, I got the vid. No doubt. No doubt whatsoever. I, uh, I think what happened was I'm like a day or two behind my wife. I must have gotten it from her last night. Um, I think it was around 9 p.m. I started to feel a little weird. I made a mistake. I know I did. I got the negative result. Little Sax gets the negative result. We see a loft the wife. <laughs> this is Yankee. And we spend time together. Little Sax and I played pool upstairs. I came down and I had a call with a Yankee Cannon member. And I had a really good conversation with him. But as I was talking with him, I was like, I need to lay down. I don't know why. I just get this overall sense of fatigue. And I was like, okay, I'll lay down. So continue the conversation. And uh, and then after I hung up, I was like, yeah, something's not right here. Uh, so the symptoms started to kick in. Um, I started to feel, you know, uh, achy. Head to toe, my headache just uh, just pounding, and um, I uh, <clears throat> um, just there there is a tightness in my chest. It's not. I feel I feel like I'm getting enough oxygen. I don't, you know, cough or anything, but it just there was something there, and then um, I started to get chills, dizzy. I was like, when I got up, I was like, whoa, okay. Um, did my thing, uh, got ready for bed, laid down, and then uh, around 3.30, I think, was it? Um, I woke up shivering and, you know, the fever, and took the, the test with the, where is that thing? This thing. <laughs> Temporal scanner, supposed to be really good, right? Well, jeez. What does it say now? Now it's normal. Okay. I could take this three different times and get different results. Okay, prove me wrong. Whatever. It last night, oh man, was I frustrated with that thing. Went downstairs, grabbed a thermometer, <laughs> a real one. And uh yeah, it was over a hundred, hundred and one. And then eventually I was able to get the hundred and one temperature. I don't know where I was pointing at in my head, but it was yeah, it's just I don't know. It's normal now, which is good. I just feel white. I have a massive headache right now. Oh, and I am on uh, ibuprofen, Tylenol, so this is probably suppressed anyway. So I, I didn't feel nauseous like, like Mrs. Yankee, thank goodness. Um, by the way, she is doing much better with that medication. She did have a few bouts of nausea, but she kept taking it. And I think this morning I talked to her, I FaceTimed her, and she's much better when it comes to her stomach. <clears throat> but she's still, you know, hurting. Still sick. It was a rough night and and tossing and turning with the, the fever. So that's got to be it. It's got to be COVID. And, you know, I think what happened is I took the test early. I don't have the full or didn't have the full viral load, as they call, right? So it just wasn't enough. So I have it. I'm sure, and I'm afraid Little Stacks is exposed now. If he wasn't already, he probably was, and just again lagging behind. This is Yankee. Oh, I love the advice. Thank you. Some of it is, <laughs> some of it's pretty out there. I'll tell you. <coughs> Excuse me. But some of it's good. It's keeping vitamins uh, in me. Uh, sitting up. No, I'm not. Okay. Sitting up now. You know, get up, walk around, keep this open. I heard somebody say, yeah, it's between the five day and the 10 day mark, which which makes sense, right? So this is around the five day mark. Um, and that's where this gentleman said he had it. And that's where the risk is, especially with the chest. Oh, one other thing. Uh, I talked with the, uh, the, the family that this came in or originated for the Yankee family. Um, they're doing okay. They're still dealing with 
with COVID, they're not well yet. And they talked about losing their sense of taste. So that I think is coming. And somebody commented saying, you know, Yankee, I guess it's not that serious if you can make light of, of COVID. I make light of COVID. Well, first of all, you gotta keep your spirits up. Listen, for me as a, as a Christian, my faith is my positive. My relationship with the Lord is my strength, knowing uh, that my situation in our family, my wife, myself, Little Stacks, we're all in God's hands. That's enough to give you joy, no matter what you're going through. <clears throat> Again, easy for me to say, I'm not on a ventilator, I'm not in the hospital, I understand that. But that's another reason why I'm doing this vlog um, series. I want people to understand my heart and and go on this journey with me, even if it gets really bad. And I mean that. I'm going to do the best I can. Mrs. Yankee will probably take the phone away from me if it gets really bad. But, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to do this. And I'm hoping... <coughs> oh. Whew. I just need to lie down. Oh, I'm hoping everything turns out a-okay. <laughs> All right, here's the update for... Day five in the evening, um, I did uh, get a call from my doctor. I'm going to get another uh, rapid test tomorrow uh, just to finalize whether or not I have COVID. But oh my word, I feel like I sure do. Um, I also got some awesome Olive Garden from my church family. Uh, the pastor just dropped this off outside. So wow, I ate, I ate one of these. Um, my wife can't have one, and not yet. She's still doing these. <laughs> but tomorrow, I think she'll be much better. Um, and yeah, we're staying vitamined up. And, oh, check this out. <sighs> More love from uh, my work. Sent me some really nice meals for the family. That was really nice of them. And a couple more uh, frozen down over there and some desserts. And, you know, we're, we're all set. Just the love and support has been incredible. So, you know, it's, it's nice to have a community. And it's nice to have a job that really takes care of their employees. So I'm super blessed. Super blessed. Thank you guys for uh, uh, all the support that I get in the community and your comments down below. We're going to do, you know, uh, is this each day, see where it goes. I think I'm going to bounce back and get, get over this. I think my wife is going to be fine. I think little stacks, I think he's going to get it. I can't imagine if he doesn't, but it's possible he'll avoid it and he'll be fine too. So thanks. And I'll talk to you on day six.